NVIDIA is a trillion dollar company that has recently garnered a lot of attention for its dedication to AI. It's the leading manufacturer of high-end GPUs whose business model primarily involves the sale of those GPUs. For context, a GPU stands for Graphics Processing Unit, which is a specialized computer chip that renders graphics and images by performing rapid math calculations. They can process many pieces of data simultaneously, making them useful for machine learning, video editing, and gaming applications. Applications. GPU is often used interchangeably with terms like graphics card or video card. Many large organizations use NVIDIA's GPUs for AI. OpenAI uses NVIDIA to power ChatGPT and DALL-E. Google, Amazon, Microsoft, and Tesla all use NVIDIA's GPUs to power their products. NVIDIA's revenue in 2022 was $26.91 billion, in which the graphics segment accounted for about 87% of its revenue. What this tells us is that GPUs make up most of NVIDIA's revenue, but they're not its only source of income. NVIDIA also generates revenue from other sources like cloud and data centers, laptops and workstations, networking, and even embedded systems. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Dark Mode Digest, where we explore the tech industry's most important topics. In this episode, we'll delve into NVIDIA's business model and break down exactly how it makes its money. So stick around to the end because this is a juicy one. Here we go. To understand NVIDIA's business model, we first must explore its humble beginnings. NVIDIA is an American tech company based in Santa Clara, California, which is at the heart of Silicon Valley. It was founded in 1993 by Jensen Huang, Chris Melachowski, and Curtis Prem. Their early days focused on providing the gaming industry with advanced graphics and video solutions. NV1 was the company's first product and was a multimedia accelerator that offered superior graphics performance for PCs and gaming consoles. Later, in 1999, however, it was the release of GeForce 256 GPU that put the company on the map as the pioneer in the graphics industry. NVIDIA has been getting a lot of attention lately for its focus on AI. You may not realize though, that the company has had its sights set on AI since the mid 2000s. During these times, it developed CUDA, a parallel computing platform and programming model that enabled developers to use NVIDIA's GPUs for general purpose computing, which made AI and machine learning tasks more efficient. This was a pivotal moment for the company as the demand for GPUs in data centers and cloud computing skyrocketed, which propelled the company to the forefront of the AI revolution. Throughout the years, NVIDIA has expanded its business to include both hardware like laptops, monitors, work studios and TVs, and software like application frameworks, cloud services, and gaming platforms. NVIDIA has also become a major player in self-driving technology. Its drive platform is an open platform for developing autonomous vehicles. It includes a suite of applications that developers can utilize for building their autonomous vehicle systems. NVIDIA Drive OS is a whole operating system. Drive Hyperion is a vehicle architecture that includes sensors and software tools for self-driving and intelligent cockpit capabilities. NVIDIA DriveWorks is a software framework that enables sensor processing and calibration, deep neural networks, and data recording. NVIDIA Drive Map is a multimodal mapping platform designed to enable high levels of autonomy while improving safety. Tesla's in-vehicle supercomputer is actually powered by NVIDIA's Drive platform and GPUs. In fact, Elon Musk has said that his company is using so much of NVIDIA's products to power its self-driving training systems that NVIDIA can't keep up with its demand. As mentioned throughout this episode, NVIDIA powers so many large and small companies today. Now, let's delve into how the company makes its billions of dollars. Looking at this graph, NVIDIA's revenue has increased significantly over the last few years, primarily driven by its highly efficient GPUs, but also other sources. This is what hundreds of millions of gamers in the world plays on. For its GPUs, a good portion comes from selling it to the gaming market. Gamers around the world rely on NVIDIA's GPUs to power their gaming experiences. NVIDIA sells its high-end GPUs to its consumers directly from its own stores and retailers around the world. These GPUs also power many large organizations like OpenAI for AI and high-performance computing applications. Continuing on its hardware ambitions, 
NVIDIA also generates revenue from data centers that run most of the major cloud providers like Alibaba, Amazon, Google, and Microsoft. In 2021, NVIDIA's data center revenue surpassed the company's gaming revenue for the first time in its history. As AI and high-performance computing continue to grow in demand across various industries, the company's data center business will grow along with it, continuing to represent a significant source of its revenue. NVIDIA also licenses its intellectual property to other companies. Its IP is highly sought after by companies in various industries like gaming, data centers, automotive, and more. This has proven to be more scalable since there are no manufacturing costs. It's essentially just software. Its costs don't grow as it takes on more clients. Royalty payments and cross-licensing agreements bring NVIDIA an estimated $66 million per quarter. Companies like Dell and Toshiba are two of the highest paying clients. Tesla is NVIDIA's highest paying client in the automotive industry, and auto has proven to be a top source of of revenue for the company. NVIDIA provides advanced AI, software, and GPU technologies for autonomous vehicles. This includes in-car computer operators, frameworks, toolkits, and data center infrastructure. Some of its other top paying car companies are Toyota, Volvo, Hyundai, Mercedes, and newer companies like Lucid Motors, Zooks, and Cruise. NVIDIA also has a ton of other hardware that it sells to both consumers and businesses, as well as licenses to software. It's a big company with a ton of products, pretty tough to keep track of, but let's delve into who actually uses NVIDIA's products. NVIDIA got its start by catering to gamers. By providing top-of-the-line hardware, including GPUs, gamers fell in love with its stunning graphics and smooth gaming experience. Similar to gamers, nowadays, with a growing number of content creators out there, NVIDIA offers powerful graphics solutions from its hardware and studio workstations. All of this enhances the delivery of content. Creators need powerful graphics solutions to edit and render videos with complex graphics and a comfy workstation to do so. NVIDIA's data centers help businesses run their platforms. The company's chip-based solutions have made it a trusted partner for data centers, providing highly scalable technologies that give data center operators like Microsoft and Amazon the ability to achieve new heights of computing excellence. As mentioned earlier in this episode, Tesla and Cruise are major clients of NVIDIA. The tech giant provides solutions for these companies to power advanced driver assistance systems, autonomous vehicles, and in-car infrastructure entertainment systems. Automakers rely on NVIDIA's expertise and solutions in AI and high-performance computing to develop safer, smarter, and more connected vehicles that redefine the driving experience. For AI, professionals in the industry like data scientists, researchers, and developers form a crucial segment for NVIDIA. NVIDIA's GPUs and AI computing solutions provide these folks with top-of-the-line powerful and scalable hardware for their complex computational needs. NVIDIA is on a mission to transform how the world experiences computing. Its products and services give people more power and more efficiency. Valued at over $1 trillion today, NVIDIA is making strides on all fronts of the computing world. Its GPUs are being used to accelerate all kinds of data center applications, from cloud computing to scientific research or AI. So whether you're a gamer, a scientist, a tech executive, or just someone who's fascinated by the future of tech, NVIDIA has something to offer. It's incredible to think about the range and depth of this impact on the world around us. I hope you learned something today, and if you enjoyed this video, please check out my other mini documentaries about the most important things happening today in tech.